So Nintendo just dropped a very big, very, very spicy Nintendo Direct, except it is Mario themed. And let me tell you guys, it's, uh, it's definitely something. Now overall, I thought the Direct was pretty good. I do have one concern about it. I mean, it's not really bad or anything really crazy. It's just something that I'll get into soon, so don't worry. First off, we got Mario Kart Live Home Circuit. Now, this reminds me of another toy. I forgot the name of it. I'll probably put it on screen right now, but it reminds me of that, except it's Mario Kart related. Well, not exactly, but kind of. And honestly, it looks pretty solid. Now, am I gonna get it personally? Nah, not really, but I guess for those who are interested, cool, you might like it. Next, we got Game & Watch Super Mario Bros. Now, this is basically Super Mario Bros, as well as a couple other games on the Game & Watch system. Now, for me personally, I never grew up with the Game & Watch because, you know, I wasn't really born around that time. But I guess for those who were born around that time, this is a good opportunity to revisit that timeline and I guess also for new people as well too. So that's cool. Next we got Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury. Now, of course, this is a Wii U port of Super Mario 3D World. And honestly, 3D World is a pretty good game. I'll definitely say it's definitely one of my favorite Wii U games. And with Bowser's Fury, we don't know much about it. Like we did get like a little cutscene of like what it could be. Seems to be like some, I don't know, Cat Island or something. I mean, what do you guys think? Do you think it might be like some type of boss rush mode or something else? And also, um, they did confirm that there will be online multiplayer in this game. So I hope it's good because, uh, yeah, Nintendo, um, the online is kind of bad sometimes. So please let it be good. Also, the new Amiibos, I'm not going to lie. Looking like a dry wall out here. Next, we got Super Mario Bros. 35, which is basically a Battle Royale Super Mario Bros. It looks pretty solid. <laughs> I mean, I will say it does look a bit goofy because of the fact that, you know, you're fighting against 35 players essentially to see who can be the last one standing, but it looks pretty solid, I'll say. Now, one weird thing about this game is the fact that you could only play it till March 31st of 2021 which will be a common theme of this whole direct, the fact that some games will be only available for a certain amount of time. So yeah, don't worry, I'll talk about it more at the end. Now, of course, there are a lot more things into this direct, including a Splatoon 2 Splatfest, which personally I'm pretty excited for because I've always wanted a Mario themed Splatfest, as well as other things as well too. But let's get to the biggest part of this direct. Super Mario 3D All-Stars. Yeah, this has been a really, really, really long going leak about, oh, we're gonna get like these Mario ports for the Switch. And for me personally, I didn't believe the leaks. I really didn't. Like I thought it was full of baloney. I thought it wasn't real, but hey, look what happened. <laughs> it's real. That's pretty awesome overall, I'll say. It includes Super Mario 64, Super Mario Sunshine and Super Mario Galaxy. Oddly enough, they didn't put in Super Mario Galaxy 2, which would have been nice if it was four games, but I'm guessing there might have been a reason behind it. I mean, I don't know. And just like Super Mario Bros. 35, you could only get it until March 31st, 2021, which let me get onto that right now. So I've heard that Nintendo has done this in the past with other games and I honestly don't know why they do this. Like I really don't know why. Maybe it's for like some exclusive idea or something, but it doesn't make any sense because of course people would want to buy this in the future after 2021. So why would you limit it like this? It doesn't make any sense. I think the most common argument I've been seeing through this is, oh, well, why is this thing $60? It should have been cheaper. And here's my thing about it, all right? The games themselves are good. You know, Mars Sunshine, Mars 64, and Mars Galaxy. Of course, they're not perfect games, but they're overall good games. And they have a good amount of content in them. So you're essentially getting those three games for $60, which in my opinion, I think that's a pretty good price. Now, could have they done more with the games? Like maybe updated the graphics? Sure, 
I agree with that. But, I mean, as long as the games are good, that's all that matters, right? At least that's what I think. But what do y'all think about this Mario Direct? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Please let me know down in the comments below because I would love to discuss with you guys. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and have a good one.